Hey guys, in today's video, we will be talking about bit rates, bandwidth and latency. When you use your internet, these fundamental measurements play an essential role in providing you with a reliable internet service. So if you get the required measurements, your internet service will be good. And on the other hand, if you don't get the required measurements, the service is likely to be bad. It is really as simple as that. Let's now dive into the details to find out exactly what bitrate, bandwidth and latency are. When people talk about their broadband speeds, they're talking about the bitrate. Bitrate, also known as data rate, is the amount of data you download or upload in one second. It is the amount of data transferred from one part of the network to another. Now, what do we mean by part of the network here? Let's have a look at the picture on the right. The cell tower, also known as base station, is one part of the network, and the cell phone, also known as mobile station, is another part of the network. So the download data rate is the amount of data transferred from the cell tower to the cell phone in one second, and the upload data rate is the amount of data transferred from the cell phone to the cell tower in one second. The bit rate is measured in bits and the time is measured in seconds, so the bit rate is calculated in bits per second. Generally, since there are so many bits needed for doing anything online, the bit rate is usually measured in megabits per second or even gigabits per second. In the olden days, kilobits per second was not that uncommon either. The bandwidth in telecoms is the network capacity that is assigned to you for sending and receiving data. Higher bandwidth leads to higher bit rates. So if you're doing a video call with someone on WhatsApp, your video quality will likely be poor if you don't get enough bandwidth. On the other hand, if you get a higher bandwidth, the call quality will likely be better. The bandwidth is assigned to your device, for example your phone, in the form of a frequency channel which is basically just a range of frequencies within which your device and the network communicate. Let's take the example of a Wi-Fi router. If you are on your laptop connected to Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi router will assign a channel of a specific bandwidth to your laptop so that you can communicate using your laptop. The router may choose a 20 MHz channel for you where the frequencies range from 5.17 GHz to 5.19 GHz. The bandwidth here is the difference between these frequencies which is 0.02 GHz or 20 MHz. In mobile networks, for example, 4G LTE networks, the largest channel bandwidth is 20 MHz. Not only that, 4G LTE and 5G NR networks have a technology called carrier aggregation where multiple frequency channels can be combined into one to make even bigger channels to give you bigger bandwidths. For example, in 4G LTE, depending on what service you're trying to access, your mobile network may assign you 5 channels of 20 MHz each to give you a total of 100 MHz. That way, your mobile operator can increase your bitrate considerably for the service you may be trying to access. When you are testing your broadband speeds, in addition to the upload and download speeds, you may also come across something called latency or ping. An interrelated term is round trip time or RTT. If you do an online search on the differences between ping and latency, you will get very confused. The easiest way to think about latency is to think of the overall communication system, which is a two-way system. So for example, let's say you find a YouTube video and click on it to start seeing the video content. The time it takes from the moment you click on the video to the moment you receive the first bit of the video is the round trip time or RTT. And that is what you should be thinking about. So if you get into a latency versus ping discussion, try to focus on the round trip time. Thanks for watching the video guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic and the link is in the description. 
and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.